show you around a little bit the camper. So power wise, um, all I'm running is a fridge and some LED lights pretty much. So it doesn't need a lot. Um, the fridge is a pretty big one. So I usually, uh, before I come away, I um, I put the fridge on shore power, like just power it up at home and get it all nice and chilled and fill it up and then then um, stops the camp from doing all the work. So I think this is 160 watt solar panel, I do believe. Yes. So anyway, it does the job. I've got two, um, I've got two 100 amp batteries in the camper. Um, well, this is a Chinese built one, so a lot of people complain about the batteries, but I haven't had any problems at all. Um, I'll go and have a look and see what the, um, how much power we've got going in here. So there you go, it's, um, it's sitting on 100%. And it's 4.2 so volts. So um, I haven't been. I, this doesn't. I only charge this up with the solar panel. It doesn't get charged up by shore power at all. So I usually uh, whack a solar panel on it once a month for about a week, just to keep the batteries topped up. And then as soon as I pull it in the camp, I back it out. So that fridge has been running um, for about six hours without a um, probably five hours. Sorry, it'd be about five hours without a um, without any power charging it up. And um, as soon as I got here, I'll just whack that on there and um, the solar panel and away she went. So, yeah, so these these things are pretty good. Um, what have I got in here? Oh, it's locked. Have I have got the keys? Oh, I do have my keys. Surprise, surprise, here's we go around here and I try to unlock something. And um, my keys are somewhere else. Yeah, so I've got in there, I've got a mat. Um, I've got my J Cool um, salt, uh, shower that runs off gas and just um 12 volt that's brilliant and i just connect it to my um to the water tank but um the jaco when you can run it into the creek even and pull the water out of there and i just got some mats that's just my hoses for filling up water i've got my camp stays at the back there and i've got a little thing there but I'm, i don't know if i'll be using that this trip like i said i'm only away by myself so i don't go over too much they've got these little tropical roofs you can set up so i set that up like that you don't really need it out because it's pretty cold but it's for security wise so i can sneak out that's my bed just in there so i can have a little bit of a sticky beak out at night time if we hear something going on so i also run a mckitch which is simple um to, to hook up by myself so you just back the car straight into that sort of similar to like a truck you just back it straight in and it locks itself in and away you go it's just simple um so it's easier for me to do it by myself than um having a tow ball type or that had a that had a um Oh, what they call a poly block on it and geez that was a nightmare i haven't put the legs down because i just left it on the car um i haven't pulled the legs down at all it should be all right all it is is stop a bit of movement when you're sleeping um it's got this winch on the back so before i did my shoulders i used to when i was packing up i used to just lift it up so from this end here from this end here you just unhook this and then once it, you pull all the poles down inside obviously then i just used to pick it up and just push it over myself but um yeah that's just doing my shoulders in too much so um i'd have to i'll use the winch now so that winch basically just sets up onto a little um where is it Set this in under that little hitch there just sets up onto there and then i can um yeah, it just pulls it over saves my me it takes only an extra a few minutes to do it that way so but on all it's a it's a good little camper um very happy with it we've, we've been some um four-wheel drive tracks with it some pretty like a decent four-wheel drive tracks i don't go full on four-wheel driving and rock climbing and and all that sort of stuff um i don't know i just don't do that sort of force it doesn't really interest me too much what if we've had the right key eh? It doesn't really interest me too much. I'm, I like touring and I like coming to places and exploring around, not digging myself out of bog holes and and stuff. And plus, you sort of tend, I've got friends that do it, and they tend to always, every weekend, they're breaking something or they've got to get something done to it because they've done something to it. So, well, that's unusual, that's even out. And that's just a slide out little kitchen area. And that's just got a, uh, oh, a gas burner on it. I don't break it. It's a three thing gas. Oh, needs a good clean out too. Did you know? Get back. 
yeah so that's just a basic little setup you don't need much more than that so yeah and just a gas bottle in there i can get in there and turn the gas on i've got some um i've got some um fuel can um tanks in there that i carry diesel in but i I don't know, um, I've only, I haven't really used it. I've, I've filled them up and taken them away with me, but I've never really um, had to really bother using it. And plus I found when I did muck around with it, I found trying to fill it up myself, I found it hard to hold on to it. It's 20, lit uh, 20 litres, so that's 20 kilograms. And trying to start it off and yeah, it was making a bit of a mess. So it was, um, so whether I've got to get smaller ones or I just don't bother. I don't, I'm not really, I mean, I like going remote, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe when I go, out west a bit further and a bit more remote so i've got these king spotlights yeah i'm going to spend more money on them um they stopped working i don't know what it is check the relay replace the relay fuses they're still not working so i don't know what's going on that i might have to get an auto leg to, to have a look and um sort it out for me i didn't fit them myself either i got an oil these ones i did but i had originally had a light bar on the front and i got an auto leg to wire all up for me to do it properly and um but then i put these ones on they've been on for about two years but i don't know about a, two months ago they stopped working so i don't know what's going on i mean king's awning they're all right i'm gonna upgrade again once that one dies this is the second one i've had the first one it was good it even i even had a got blown over the top of the top of the car at one time but um eventually um what happened they got um on the frame itself that connects to the to the car it's only the frame itself's only um pop riveted on and eventually they just wore did they end up busting and it was hanging off so um i had to strip it off in the middle of nowhere i had to rip it off and chuck it in the back so i upgraded to that one there that one's all right it's um three by three and it's got led lights in it so but i don't i mean i use it but i only use it mainly um if i'm set up for a few days and but i tend to take i've got that um a bagola thing so sort of thing i set up now and that's a lot easier especially if it's raining i can sit a bagola up next to the campground the um fire pit and then i can sit on the bagola while it's raining which that's what we did at yabra flats if you looked at the yabra flat video that's what we're doing there so yeah that's just a little thing for the gas for the um for the stove and you got a lot of people chainsawing but good on them yeah so that's the basic setup inside it's um pretty basic just a queen size bed and a lounge area which is at the moment it's sort of packed down the lounge area is packed in into a bed area so not quite sure if you're able to see too well in here we'll see but um yeah this middle part lifts up you got a table underneath there and then you've got storage underneath and you've got um these outlets here where you can um charge your phones out and that one's just a 12 volt one you can see pretty not that's where you just charge your phones and stuff up so that's a bit handy and then there it's just the, the queen size bed which i've got to dig my pillow out yeah, anyway. so yeah that's basically it the basic setup um i do i do like tent camping and that i've got a stretcher tent i'll have to get out and do a camp with a stretcher tent um that's super simple as well and also with these things here this has got a tropical roof on it it's a pain in the neck it's too big so some of them like chris's one chris's camper it's perfect folds it up and it, it's perfect this one here is too long and um i've got to usually get up there and tie it down just to, to um to pull it out a bit and um tighten it up but um haven't done it yet but at night time it flaps around and keeps you awake it's a pain in the neck but um yeah all in all though they're a good camper um you know there's obviously better ones on the market like cub campers and like for the price of these things though and you can get them cheaper now all this um people are selling them um from upgrading so you can probably pick up a cheaper one and you know what it's probably a good way to do it because a lot of people upgrade stuff they put inverters in them and all sorts of stuff to them and um and then you've got a bargain you might pick up for about you know 10 grand 12 grand and it's only like four or five years old and they're yeah, they're all right um one of the things i want to um replace i've replaced the bearings i've been meaning to do that but i always check and see how they're going and um, every time i pull up i see if there's if they're running hot always running cold so that's a good sign so yeah but i've got to get rid of the put new bearings in it 
Yes, so anyhow, hope you enjoy that little bit of a walk around. It's a bit of a ramble, but um, yeah, all right. Look at that. Oh, and the neighbours have started their music up. I hope that's there's only, there's not like, there's only a couple in their 50s, I suppose, late 50s. Bit of aqueduct, long way to the top. Um, so I'm assuming they're not going to be out with all hours blasting their music. So, anyway. Okay, I'm going to wait for the sun to go down and get the fire going. Good one.